Alright guys, Gary aka okay, Hopeless back again. In this video we are looking at this month's model box. Uh, the theme for this month is dungeon level 3. Uh, previous dungeon boxes have been really good. Um, yeah. Not quite sure what to expect for this one, so uh, let's just do nice and short. Let's get straight into this and uh, see what's inside. See you in a sec. And we are on the desk. Please forgive give the state of the place, uh, one day I will actually get this uh, tidy and presentable. Uh, i got a few things that I'm working on, a few things that I've finished, and a few things that I haven't quite found space for uh, the display yet, but here is the box. This is awesome, I hope everyone is having a good month so far. A tape. Uh, yeah, still Still struggling to split my time between family and painting and doing stuff, although I have become strangely addicted to watching TikTok videos and even making a couple of small videos myself. Uh, link down below if you're into that sort of thing. In any case, the box is open. Let's have a look. Right, I will sort this out at some point. Oh, I can see item cards, which I'm just going to move over there, flip that round, tuck that under there so I can get in. Right, as is always, first thing out of the box, two sweets, which I will be sharing with my daughter again. To be fair, I've still got last month's over there. That's how busy I've been. So I'll just slide that out of sight there. Uh, first item out of the box is this uh, Lucid Eye Publications Savage Core. Or well, Enter the Savage Core 28mm Pulp Skirmish Game. Now, I've had a few of these in the past and they are quite fun. Or well, fun to paint, nice to look at. Pop that open and what is the. Is a tiny dwarf. Tiny, tiny dwarf. Looks quite nice. Lucid 20 on the back there. Yeah, that's definitely a tiny dwarf. With a plastic non slotted base. Interesting. Pop him out of sight. Out of sight. There. Second thing out of the box. It is an arachnid swarm. Four spiders. Cast in resin. Alternativearmies.com. And of course, that is the tumble dryer firing up in the background. So apologies if that uh, is picked up at the moment. And there we go. Four. Tiny arachnids. It's quite interesting. Very dungeon like. Ah, uh, you know, we got that straight away because what dungeon crawl would be complete without a set of dice? I'm going to say I'm more of a painter than a player, so uh, I'll just add those to the collection. And as always, you get two paints in each box. And today, on this box, we've got Instar Alpha, Pure Purple, and Sea Green. Now, if you can just see in the background there, this rack here is actually the complete Instar Alpha range, uh, out of shot. And then down there is my contrast paint, so uh, always good to have backup paint. We've got one more model. Now this is from CP Models, not familiar with that company. And it looks like... Focus. I'm not too sure what that is, but uh, I'm going to say a female wizard off the top of my head. Or a standard adventurer with a staff. Put that back 
there. And I found the exclusive figure for the month. Uh, just in case you did not know, each month the model box comes with an exclusive miniature that's been made specifically for this box. As I said here. And this one. Ooh, that looks like a little dragonborn rogue. Oh, I like these. It's always interesting to try and come up with something to do with these guys. The miniatures in general, I mean. Not, uh, not that I have a big collection of uh, dragonborn rogues somewhere. But nice. He's looking like he's ready for adventure. Ready for a dungeon crawl at least. That's quite cool. Uh, that's everything in the box itself. Jump that out of the way. And then we bring up paperwork. As it says, Dungeon Le November, Dungeon Level 3. So we got the Arachnid Swarm from Alternative Armies. Uh, dungeons are known to be home to many creepy encounters, and naturally these dark places will have a few creepy spiders to fight off. Nice. Uh, do, do, do. At Random Adventurer from CP Models. CP Models have a lovely range of adventurers in your boxes. One of seven adventurers from their range. The picture on the right is the Old Mage. So, still no real idea who that is, so I might... Uh... There we go, so a quick search on the website shows that this is FSA05, the female rogue. Nice, interesting. Uh, there is a mixed RPG poly die set. You'll need some dice for your adventure. This mixed color RPG set is for EM4 miniatures. Very nice. And there we go, so yes, the Dragonborn Rogue. The Dragonborn Rogue is a master at stealth, skill, and can get the upper hand in any situation. I've always been a fan of playing against types and class, so a Dragonborn Rogue seems like a great mix that wouldn't usually be found as a miniature. Uh, that's pretty true as far as I know. Dragonborn are more warrior or barbarian types. That's nice. And as I said, Instar Paints, sea green, pure purple. We're back with another pair of amazing paints by Instar Paints. For this month we have a bottle of sea green and pure purple from Instar's Alpha Range. The sea green would be perfect for the Dragonborn scales and pure purple for perhaps the rogue's robes. Nice. And as you can see at the bottom, next month it's mythology. It's the theme for the box. That's quite cool. Uh, as always, I'll have a link down below if you're interested in signing up for a box for yourself. And, uh, yeah. Quite a nice little box. Quite varied. I can think of a few things to do with the arachnids. They are quite large compared to the... Uh, yeah. I think I can get something done with that. But, uh, anyway... Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. As always, this is a really short video for me. Uh, as always, <laughs> I'm Gary, aka Hopeless. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, leave a comment, like and share, all that jazz. Let's uh, see what happens in the next one. Uh, I am working on getting a few things recorded and painted over the next couple of weeks. So we'll see how that goes. So until then, see you in the next one. See ya.